Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I saw a muffin recipe recently that I could tell would be delicious, and so I decided to make it for you. And I guess I'm making some assumptions here with this video that you have probably made a muffin because I'm not going to drag you through every step of it. But muffins generally do not require a mixer. You can put all the ingredients in one bowl. You just have to make sure that your fat is not hard. So if you're using soft butter or you're using coconut oil like I did in this recipe, uh, you just mix it all up in a bowl. And in this uh, picture, I'm showing you salt, flour, sugar, and baking powder. And I had, the reason I chose this recipe is because I had two very ripe bananas that I needed to get rid of. And here's the solids, uh, or here's what I'm going to consider the liquids in this recipe. The previous picture showing you the flour, the salt, and all that, that's the dry. So the liquid is the banana, the egg, the coconut oil, and the vanilla. I'm going to mix uh, up the dry ingredients in the bowl, just stir the dry ingredients together. And then what I did is just put the wet ingredients in and mix them right in. I also added some coconut. I just store mine in a glass jar and I use those really nifty plastic lids that I buy at Walmart. Of course, I don't stuff my jar so full that the food's touching the plastic. And then I just write on it with a permanent pen, a permanent marker, and it lasts fine in your refrigerator. But the good thing about it is it just washes right off those lids when you put it in soapy water. Here I'm just showing you the side of the jar. I did pack that coconut in there, which was not a terrific idea because it was kind of hard to get out. So if you're going to put coconut in a jar, don't pack it in. So I just mixed it all together, and I poured the batter into six muffin cups. Now this recipe was supposed to make eight muffins, but I was making it in my solar oven, and I didn't want to get out another muffin pan and have to stack them on top of each other because I knew they'd probably poof up. So I really stuffed these muffin cups and the muffins turned out huge. You were supposed to sprinkle extra coconut on top, which I forgot to do. They would brown more if you made them in a traditional oven, but huh, never mind. It sure doesn't matter. These were delicious. When Paladin Prepper took a bite of one, his reaction was, can you say Panera? And I don't know if you have a Panera near you or you've ever eaten at a Panera. It's a, um, it's kind of a gourmet fast food kind of place that uh, it's owned by the, the St. Louis Bread Company. Anyway, their, their claim to fame is breads. They make fabulous breads. But they also make great items in their bakery section of their restaurant, like pastries and muffins and cookies and that kind of thing. Well, these are those kind of muffins. And he knew it the moment he bit into it. And I told him, I said, you are right. They are absolutely delicious. So it's the best use of two really overripe bananas that I've ever seen. Uh, we will be making these again and again. Uh, We'll pop them in the freezer and save them for a treat. Delicious. The recipe will be posted below. I hope you give it a try. It's just as easy as that. Mix up your dry ingredients. I just kind of made a well in my dry ingredients and put my wet ingredients in there, mashing up by my banana and beating up my um, egg with a fork along with the coconut oil. You could use softened butter if you want. I'll give you that option in the recipe. And then just mix around and pull the dry ingredients in, not over stirring. That is the secret to a delicious tender muffin, is do not over stir. And it, ma it doesn't matter if there's still a few lumps in the batter. That's to be expected in muffins. Put them into your, into your muffin tins quickly and get them into your oven. These worked perfectly in the sun oven. Can't wait to do them again. Hope you'll give it a try. It's a great recipe. Cat's Cradle.